Hey class, today's video is about similar polygons. So, um, we are going to be talking about similar polygons today. Um, <clears throat> so, definition of a similar polygon is when corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding side lengths are proportional. What does that mean? Well, if you have the corresponding angles or like the angle that looks around the same or like if you flip it, it's going to be like right on top of the other one. If those angles are all congruent, all corresponding angles, as well as the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal, then it's a similar polygon. What does that mean? Well, essentially, A is congruent to E, B is congruent to F, C is congruent to G, D is congruent to H. If all of those angles are congruent, right, and, um, and the corresponding lengths, so AB and EF and BC and FG and CD and GH and DA and HE, if their ratios are all equal, then you have two similar polygons, okay? So if we take a look at an example, if we were to look at this, right, what are the pairs of congruent angles here? Well, angle T and Z, if these two are similar, RST, RST, and XYZ, then angle R, right, because these two right here, angle R and angle X, angle S and angle Y, and angle T and angle Z, R and X, S and Y, T and Z. These are the congruent angles. Okay. What are the corresponding sides? RS and XY. Okay. ST and YZ. And TR and ZX. And if you look, all of their corresponding ratios are 5 over 3, right? 20 over 12. Okay. When you simplify that, you get 5 over 3. 30 over 18. When you simplify that, you get 5 over 3. And 25 over 15, when you simplify that, you get 5 over 3 as well. They're all equal, okay? So this must be true, right, in order for these to be similar, right? It says, oh, these are similar, so that means what? These things must be true. Okay, second one. Let's say I want to determine the scale factor of, a po of uh, two... Uh, polygons that are similar. So here we are told that ZYXW and FGHJ are similar. Since they are similar, then that means that their corresponding angles are congruent, right? This F and Z, G and Y, H and X, and J and W. Okay? Well, Let's look at what the scale factor is, right? If we, if we take, what, ZY over FG, I get 25 over 20, which is simplifies to be 5 over 4. And just to make sure that this is right, because that's actually just the scale factor right there, right? You want to just check the other ones, 30 over 24, make sure that they're all 5 over 4, but all of the... Uh, corresponding side lanes should have the same um, proportion, and that proportion is the scale factor of the two polygons. Okay, as in, this is if you if you were to this is like five a ratio of five to four. The size of this polygon versus the size of this polygon, the ratio is five to four. That's the scale factor. Okay. All right. So. Uh, last but not least, okay, if I have these two similar polygons, right, um, and I want to find the value of x, well, you're told that they're similar, right? So you could set up a ratio. Now, you can set up a ratio multiple ways, okay? But we know D, E, F, and M, N, P, right? So that means D, E, and M, N should have the same ratio as x to 20, okay? So, look at this. Oh, they did mn to de, okay? So mn to de, 
should be the same ratio as 20 to x. Now, if you were to reverse it, it's still going to work, right? So 20 over 9 is equal to, uh, sorry, 12 over 9 is equal to 20 over x. If you cross multiply it, you get 12x is equal to 180. Uh, and if you divide by 12, you get x equal to 15. Now, if you had chosen to solve this another way, it would have you would have still obtained the same answer. Let's say you said x to 20 is equal to 12 over 16. You still would have gotten the same answer. You can go ahead and try it. It's going to be the same answer, okay? All right, cool. This is your homework. It is due by April 24th, okay? Um, it is posted on Google Classroom. Uh, that is all. Have a good day.